and the gates of Sheol are broken. United in morning prayer, these men are receiving education and formation to become Catholic priests. Keep us free from sin. Inside their seminary chapel, the candles, stained glass, and altar may look fairly common for a worship space, but these men are future priests of a church that even Catholics may not have heard of. It's called Maronite. I was a total stranger to it. Years ago, before studying for the priesthood, seminarian Alejandro Landon started to see the beautiful diversity in Catholicism. That there were many ways that the church expresses its faith and its belief. Catholics around the world are all united and can simply be called members of the Catholic Church. But within this global community are actually 24 churches, including the Roman Catholic Church and the Maronite Catholic Church. Each church has its own unique traditions, but all are in communion with one another and all are united by core beliefs. Though each church has its own internal leadership, the supreme head and spiritual leader over all of these churches on earth is the Pope. The Roman Catholic Church is most commonly found around the world, but the 23 others referred to as Eastern Catholic Churches have spread out as well, including the Maronite Catholic Church. Us in the, shadow of your cross. the church has deep roots in Lebanon, where the majority of Christians are Maronite. They are among the Christian minority here in the U.S., but still have a presence. We have 95 Maronite churches. One is here in the nation's capital, Our Lady of Lebanon Maronite Catholic Church. It's right next door to the only Maronite seminary in the country, where Monsignor Peter Azar is rector. I feel I'm using my experience as a parish priest with our seminarians to prepare them about the parish life. A parish life in the Maronite Church. Having its own liturgy, theology, and spirituality, more poetic than philosophical, as seminarian Alejandro Landon would learn. He grew up Roman Catholic and loved his church, but during his faith journey after college, he stopped at a Maronite church in Texas. The prayers were very different. The, the chanting, almost the entire liturgy, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of a, a shock for me, but a very pleasant one. Listen and give glory and thanks to the word of the living God. I think I remember my exact words when I left the liturgy was, uh, I'm not exactly sure what that was, but I like it. So much so that he is now a couple years away from being ordained a Maronite priest. And as such, we'll have the chance to call down the Holy Spirit in Aramaic. It's the language of Christ himself. That will make us feel that Christ himself is working through the priest. Monsignor Azar has been a priest for more than 40 years. He grew up in Lebanon and saw the country fractured by war. He's now concerned about family members back home caught up in the current economic crisis, but he's hopeful Maronites in Lebanon will remain resilient. That hardship is driving us to a deeper faith in Jesus Christ. The Maronite Church, just one among the global Catholic Church family, all united in faith. All Catholics can receive the Eucharist within these different churches and fulfill their mass obligation by attending the different liturgies and as a result, experience Christ in a new way. You're sort of more in awe of him, and it's just a different way of approaching him. Mark Irons, EWTN News In Depth.